Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Film House, joined by Bruce and John. How are you guys doing? We're doing all right. Why'd you, why'd you give me an apple? It's, hey, you gotta get healthy, man. <laughs> That's great. This week's sponsor is Lisa. You can get $100 off your mattress when you use a special promo code. I'll just tell you, it's Film House, but we're gonna read more about it later. Because it's all about the referrals. Anyway, we're doing a 2017 retrospective because the Oscar noms are out. Not that we care about. We've hammered this to death. We don't care about awards, but. I care a little. I, lo- <laughs> I care a little bit. You really care about the celebrities? I like to find out what people are Tell doing and thinking and why. Th- <laughs> but I don't necessarily care about what they nominate. What I what I will never care about is anyone losing because they're all rich. That's, I mean, I don't know. Are they all rich? Yes, even that guy with the bad teeth from Captain... Captain S- he's rich? He, Captain Phillips? He's in Blade Runner. You see how his teeth are getting better. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> he was in Blade Runner. I thought he didn't get paid for Captain Phillips, though. Well, they, they fed him. <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> they fed him. Anyway, Captain Phillips is so last, last year. We want to talk about last, last year. year. <laughs> so, John, you kind of... You kind of came up with this concept. What are we doing today? It's a retrospective. It's not really a concept that anybody else has come up with. Like, that's a concept that everybody well, does yeah, all the time. But see, here's the difference is normally people do it in like late December right. at the end of the year. Mm-hmm. We're, just we're late. doing it near in late January. So we're late. Yeah. Or early. <laughs> Depending nope, on really. oh, it's before the Oscars, Bruce. <laughs> All right, yeah, they haven't right. picked yet. Well, hey, how about this? We throw it out. We do uh, 2018 mm-hmm. uh, foreshadowing. Okay. No. No. Let's... You don't want to warp to the future real quick. <laughs> anyway. um, well, I mean, one thing that can be certain is that uh, Read the, keep to the notes. My best friend from heaven is already the number one movie of 2018, and that nothing will top it. Who? Remember, I'm dead now and I can talk. Oh, the dog. Yeah. I'm yeah. back and I can talk now. Oh. <laughs> that's that's more what it's like. I feel like that's unfair to put it up against everything else. But uh, <laughs> there is a little note here, John, put down. Out of the top 20 grossing films, <coughs> Dunkirk was the only film that wasn't a sequel, adaptation, or remake. Yep. The next original IP is Your Name. Oh, the anime movie. At 25, though technically it came out, I want to say, in 2016. Uh, we just in America... <laughs> Got it in 2017, and I watched it this week. I did. I did get that off Reddit, by the way. The uh... oh yeah. Um, also, I, I I have a little nitpick with this list. Uh, Dunkirk is an adaptation of a little thing called World War II. No. Uh, that's yes. Not true. I'm just saying it is a thing that happened. So it wasn't someone who was like, I have an original idea. Oh, I see. What you're a saying. group of men. Nobody has backs original. against and the wall, but it's the sea. Nobody has original ideas. How many? <laughs> How many like World War II enthusiasts have written books about Dunkirk? I mm-hmm. bet you there's at least twelve. Nobody That's, has original ideas. As anymore. far as I'm concerned, World War II is almost a fantasy at this point, <laughs> and we're just adapting it to be in our, you know, our little film club. So uh, this list is bullshit. There was not an original idea that came out that was high grossing. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that that matters. Um, what did you want, Valerian, to be the highest grossing? That's movie? adapted from a. Uh, that's that, right. That's, yeah, that's, that's it. That's that that did make a shit ton of money because I, yeah, I was gonna say that it was. I was looking up flops and I was like, oh, Valerian was a mm. flop, and it made like two hundred and twelve million what or was something. Its budget. Uh, one hundred and seventy-seven million. Yeah, that's not. not yeah, very so it didn't good. make. It didn't <laughs> do exactly very well. But broke even. once again, it still made money. It's it's a weird thing where I feel like we all have sort of buyer's remorse or. What do you call it when you're sort of like trying to justify a product justification or yeah, whatever? Yeah, you're justifying your purchase. It, it's a weird thing that we do. And I think Netflix is sort of fixing this where you see a movie and it didn't do. So like Blade Runner. I really like Blade Runner. People, yeah, but it didn't do well. What the fuck do I care? I saw the movie. My brain has got the income that it needs. That's all I needed was I needed some sort of like stimulation, which I got. And like, oh, poor me. Warner Brothers didn't make the extra hundred million dollars it really needed. Which was probably a blessing in disguise because that movie doesn't need another sequel. Well, I, I was going to say, I think maybe that's the reason why people want the stuff they like to succeed. It's because they'll get more of it. Um, I mean, that's the number one reason, typically. Sure. So uh, And validation. Well, that well, I think but validation, I, I come, getting more of it comes along with validation. But. Is that a thing, though? Is like, are, we, are we in such a cheerleader nation that we need our guy to win? Our boy, our, our woman, our man? That's what humans do and have, have been doing for years. And just, years and years. It just seems so odd to say one thing is better than the other because it made more money, which on one hand, I kind of like awards because people come together and say, well, no, this thing's better, but also I hate the way awards are done. Anyway, <laughs> so 
I get, Adam's a complicated human being. I'm, I'm, well, humans are complicated. <laughs> and I'm saying if you, if there's something you really liked, just stand by it. Put your foot down and go, I like it. If someone wants to fight you on it, just look, look into a mirror, look into yourself and say, I like these things for these reasons. And I understand if you don't, that's cool. Those are called convictions, kids. You were allowed to stand by those Absolutely weird are. little feelings we call convictions. Yeah. Also, I realize I'm playing a bunch of footage of trailers from 2017, but it's a bunch of movies coming out in 2018. <laughs> so oh, is that what it is? My bad. Yeah, yeah this is Red right. Sparrow. You know, it's Black Widow. I know, I know, I know movies, Bruce. Okay. Uh, anyway, we got a couple rundowns here, unless you got any more notes on uh, my no, little rant. No. Go ahead, John. What? You were going to say something. Oh, no, I said no. We Just feel have... free to interrupt John anytime. Actually, wait, I yeah. never, what was, John, what was your favorite movie of 2017? Now justify it. I'm going to tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> um, you know, I did write these questions. I did not think of answers for them. Are you kidding? Really? <laughs> You didn't think of answers. What's your favorite film? What's the first thing that pops into your head in 2017? Uh, what came out in 2017? Stop it. Hunt for the Orient Express or whatever it was. Uh, well, Dunkirk did. Blade Runner did. Um, uh, what Marvel movies came out? <laughs> Thor Ragnarok? No, I don't like Marvel movies. Okay. Okay, that's uh, fair. Sorry, guys. Well, who are you apologizing uh, to? The uh, studios? Get, they don't get care. Out. Get Out came out. Coco. I did. I did like Get Out. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't think of it. You're the answer. worst. I'm gonna say Dunkirk. Dunkirk was the best movie of 2017. Okay. Um, I think I think it uh, as a critical success and as an audience success, I think it did the best. But also, I think it was just a just a almost picture perfect movie. I uh, just looking, all the way around. Looking at the Oscar list and everything, uh, there I know there's things in there like Shape of Water and all that. And like we said before, I know your name. Technically came out 2016, but we didn't get it in the U.S. till 2017. I didn't know about it yeah. until 2017, so I'm just going to say it's a 2017 film for me. Uh, and, you know, time's relative anyway, people. Come on. It's you a made up. It. It's, it's okay. a fallacy. We Are believe you. you. Looking at a list He's right looking now? at movies right now. <laughs> okay. Oh I will say, actually, out of everything that came out, as much as I liked a lot of these films that are being nominated, and I, you know, um, what's the uh, the P.T. Anderson one I haven't seen yet? That's sort of the Oscar Beatty one. It's like a 1950s hairdresser. I, I just saw it, actually. Phantom Thread. Is it good? No. Oh. Um, it's it is it is a fine film. Okay. It's not like whoa, Daniel Day Lewis. By the way, Daniel Lewis is amazing. He always is. But the movie itself is sort of like, yeah, that was the movie I watched. It's just kind of a like a standard biopic, like. Uh, biography yeah i mean like there's a fun little thing in there that's a, kind of a not really a twist but just more of like a oh that's literally what you do you go oh and that's the end of the movie was the phantom thread like old man quilliger the whole time no, and they like no, take no. his mask off it and has, like, is it, he, it darn he, hides, kids. he hides like notes in the no, in the that's thread not right it. They no i mean they established kind of, that early on yes well yeah but no but i was gonna say was that instead of dying he hides himself inside of a coat i'm trying no I'm, try, I'm trying to tell you that it is a film that you watch and you go, I liked that movie. And then you never mm -hmm. think about it again. Um, okay. But it's very good. The, the performances are fantastic. The production design is very nice. Cinematography right. is great. Do you think, is it like Oscar bait though? Do you feel like it's Absolutely. Oscar? It is Oscar ah, bait. Gotcha. Um, it doesn't, you know, the one thing it's not Oscar bait though, it doesn't uh, tackle any issues. So it doesn't tackle like gay marriage or uh, war or, you know, like something like that. It doesn't tackle those issues. So it's not really anything like that, right. um, which is surprising. Does it tackle relationships? Kind of, not really. I don't know. Mm. Uh, it, whatever. It's don't see it in theaters. There's no reason to see it. Okay. How about that score though? There was music in the movie. <laughs> Actually, no. I just realized there was music in the movie, and they play the theme. I want to say seven times. Oh, really? The same theme <laughs> over and over and over, and it's like this very lilty uh, classical piano theme, and I'm just like, all right, we get it. Yes. What, this what is drove the theme. you to go see Phantom Thread? That Autumn. seems like. Okay. I don't want to see it. And also, Definitely. I love, I do, I really, I really do like Paul Thomas Anderson. I like, I really do. But that is just. He did a Inherent Vice, right? Or is that someone else? He did Inherent Vice. Yeah. And I wanted, I never saw it because I heard yeah. it wasn't very good. That's the thing. I, Ugh. I would. You're listening to the critics, man. What? Was it good? <laughs> Which movie? Inherent Thread? <laughs> Vice. Uh, no. Yeah. Inherent Vice. You don't even know. No. It, when I saw it. It felt like what it would be like if I were to become a PI. So maybe, maybe it's not going to be the That's same a, experience no, no, for no. you. Come on, jeez. <laughs> I also heard them. I think I remember you saying the master wasn't very good. Well, the master is, it's a good, I think it's like a, beautiful film and that's, it, that's it's like a threat is. I guess I felt misled because I was like, Ooh, Scientology, let's check it out. And then it was like, it obviously it wasn't about that. And it was a, it was a piece about a person, like most PT Anderson movies are. If you haven't seen it, they please are. check out Boogie Nights. I think it's one of the greatest films of all time. 
Uh, Magnolia less than, but still good punch drunk love. I Magnolia still, is great. Yeah, I love that movie. It's uh, Magnolia's not for everybody, but I still really like it. Uh, but then yeah, punch drunk love is probably Adam Sandler's best movie. It is. I've yeah, seen it. Uh, so like Petey Anderson in my book, he's like, he, uh, and then there will be blood. I feel like he has this sort of. He d- he already has a library built up where I'm like he can do no wrong. Yeah, no, that's um, true. I mean, he, great, even if he even if he does wrong, he, I'm like he's earned it. It is not a bad movie by any means. So right. like it's not. I'm not saying you're you're gonna you're gonna hate it. Okay, it's just more of like a well, I watched a movie. Yeah, it's, and it's and it was beautiful, and that's it. Okay, yeah, that's it. I'm yeah, but like the master, I remember walking away and going, like, wasn't crazy about it. There, there's some really good acting and it, some beautiful cinematography, yeah. but yeah. man oh man, not a not crazy. Anyway, so that's interesting to know, but. Uh, going back, finishing my earlier thought, I thought Your Name was one of the more original movies to come out. And it is an animation, which I don't think should matter. And then people were like, well, it's an anime. I don't think it matters. It doesn't it's, matter. It's still a... It's a story. It's a story. It's a it's yeah. a, it's a a piece of media. It is a... It, for me, it is a film. And uh, Bruce, I know you haven't seen it yet, but the movie itself actually has time-lapse animated in. I'm really looking forward to oh, it. Oh, really? I wanted to see it in theaters. Man. never did. I did. Because I, I heard it was great. I, looked, it is, I really love to see it. it. It is something... I know you shouldn't... You, when you watch anything, you should just get kind of lost in what's happening. But I feel like I'm I'm always going to be looking at the technical aspect of something. Your name does these really cool time lapse shots of Tokyo, and you're like, dear God, not since God, I want to say Ghost in the Shell or any like you know Miyazaki film where you're like, look at all the goddamn detail they drew in there, and then yeah. they drew it fast, right, right, and it's all moving. God damn. So yeah, I would so say cool. your name. I also I haven't seen every film that came out last year. So I tried to see a lot of them. Yeah. I didn't. I saw like three billboards, uh, which is good. Uh, it's weird, but it's good. Yeah. I think it's sort of like a Stephen King film in the sense that there's a lot of characters that do a lot of weird things out of character. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that's well, fine. Still a good movie. So anyway, we've already we talked about before our favorite films of last yeah. year. We do want to talk about our biggest disappointments of 2017. I know mine Go is friggin Valerian. What? You thought Valerian was going to be good? You went in with high expectations? Listen, what is your problem? Fifth Element is one of my favorite movies ever. Have you uh, Any of the other Luc Besson films, have you seen them after that? Uh, Lockout? The, the Professional? Lockout's pretty cool. Lockout is not cool. I saw I, it in theaters, and it was not good. Look, I had high hopes, okay? I I don't know what to tell you. I usually keep a level head, uh, you know, in terms of expectations. Uh-huh. Uh, but Valerian, man, I... I thought it was going to be great. And mm. then all the characters were CG. Yeah, of course. <sighs> okay. That's fair. What, is, what was your biggest disappointment, Bruce? Biggest disappointment? You um, can say Last Jedi. It wasn't Last Jedi. I, I enjoyed okay. Last Jedi. I'm saying you're allowed to say Jumanji? I never saw Jumanji. <sighs> um, I know mine if you want me to go. Yeah, actually, you go first because I, I haven't thought about it yet. Uh, this is one we haven't thought about in a long time. A little film called Assassin's Creed. Oh man, I that was a big disappointment. I didn't, I didn't really have high hopes. I had hope. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Me too. Well, it's it Michael was, Fassbender, and like, yeah, that was like okay, legit actor who apparently is just he's been doing shit movies now, like Snowman and what have you. <laughs> um, but I thought if any video game could possibly be adapted, and then they got the cinematographer from Macbeth, which is also another beautifully shot movie. I was like, they got this, they got it, yeah. they can do it. They they don't have to get in too much detail. And I was like, God damn, this movie, piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but hey, they did everything in Spanish though, didn't they? they yeah, they like <laughs> not everything, but it, once yeah, actually, if more of the movie had been set in Spain, it would have been better. Mm. Maybe I can't tell. All the parkour stuff, pretty damn cool. Although like. Set design, all that stuff, pretty cool. But then any of the the modern day Assassin's Creed stuff, which used to be the most interesting thing for me in the games, was so bad. So boo, boo to you, Assassin's Creed. It wasn't, it wasn't good. And boo to me. Shame on me and shame to all of you who thought video games could ever make a good film. I thought for sure it was going to be good. I, really, I was like, come on, this is going to be not bad, right? This could be another thing where we go back to and uh, we should rewatch every video game movie adaptation, not counting the, uh, the Uva Bowl. Bowls. Those are, that's garbage. cheating. Those are just garbage. That, if you shoot the in a what? weekend, it doesn't count. The Uva Bowl ones, like uh, Blood Rain and all the House of the ones. Dead. House of the Dead. Like they're, what is this, Uva, Uva what? Well, it looks like it's... You U- never heard of Uva Bowl? No. Really? John Smith. Wow, we have a rabbit hole to take you down. You are going to be so excited when it, you discover His name it. looks like U Bowl. It looks like it's U W E. Yeah. Bowl. But it's pronounced Uva okay. Bowl. B O L L. <laughs> is he the director? Yeah. yeah. He's a filmmaker, but he's Oh, okay. Much. He's. Oh, I just I just realized my biggest disappointment. Oh, go for it. Uh, not that I had high, high hopes for it, but it was way worse than I thought it would be. The Mummy. 
Oh, uh, the mummy was terrible. <laughs> oh, have, have you heard um, the latest news? No, no. Like Invisible Man had like lost its screenwriter, so they're like, "Is this the end of the Dooku?" Yes, the, that is the end of the Dooku. <laughs> it was. It was one of the uh, things where I thought I was like, "How bad could this be?" It's a Tom Cruise film. Like, there's no way it could be any worse than like Van Helsing, or and it's way worse. It's somehow worse. It's you know why? Because it's boring. Uh, it's it is a boring action yeah. movie, and nothing makes me more upset than a boring action film. So, that's that's a good one. And I, I feel bad because I now have to go back on the thing I used to always say. It was like, there's no such thing as a bad Tom Cruise movie. There is. There's been a few now. Yeah, The Mummy's bad. I didn't see American Made. Was well, Night want, and Day I wanna, good? I never saw Night and Day. <laughs> I didn't see Night and Day. Heard he, it's still Hurdy was like, they're like, yeah, it's, pretty, it's a decent movie. It's I wanted not, to see American bad. Made. I never did. I, I would like to. All right. Next That's about was. Contra, right? What? What? What are you talking about? Am I wrong? Contra? Contra. The game? It, no, the CIA. Oh, oh the, oh, the oh, whole like Contra, the, yes. I know it's about contraband, and it's about the guy who flew a bunch of uh, what's that nose candy for Pablo Escobar. Well, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure the Contra unit in the CIA or whatever were the ones that were funneling the drugs into the United States. Like that oh. was a huge thing that like some military unit was like basically providing drugs to Los Angeles for well, and we'll, making millions for years. We'll watch the film and find out. Uh, what are we at right now? I think we're at the halfway mark. Let me let me do this ad read real quick. Yeah, yeah no problem. And we'll get back. We got oh, we got so much more to talk about. I do want to remind our listeners, viewers, and those being uh, read to in sign language that this episode of Filmhouse is brought to you by Lisa. Lisa is an innovative direct to consumer online mattress brand that is also socially conscious. They are driven by the mission to provide quote a better place to sleep for everybody. Lisa donates one mattress to a shelter for every ten they sell. Wow. Through their 110 program, over 22,000 mattresses donated so far. I believe John's even got one of them. You got a donated mattress? What? Do you want a donated mattress? <laughs> Sign up for welfare. <laughs> uh, Delisa also plants one tree for every mattress sold and donates really? 1% of each employee's time to volunteer for low cost. This is the actual oh, wow. ad copy. That's amazing. So, I mean, this is biblical. Huh. This, these are this is like Moses coming down and trying to sell you a mattress. He's calling himself Moses. <laughs> I'm Moses. <laughs> Take that religion. Uh, so yeah, uh, Lisa is available online at the Lisa Dream Gallery. Um, oh, I'm sorry, it's available online or at the Lisa Dream Gallery in Soho, New York City, and Virginia Beach. So if uh, you want to, you know, not spend all day inside, you can. Check it out in person. And then spend all day inside. They are American-made mattresses, which shipped in compressed little boxes to your door. I love these things. It's the coolest future tech. That is. I love the future. It comes up small boxes and just it pops right open. <laughs> it's great. It doesn't make that noise, but in my brain, it sure does. Uh, you can now try before you buy with over 80 West Elm stores nationwide. Lisa's patented universal adaptive feel is designed for all types of sleepers. It features three premium, I can't say words, premium foam layers. Uh, I don't have to go into super details about those, but I do want to let you guys know that there is a special deal by uh, being a listener, viewer. I talked about it earlier in the show, but for an extra $100 off, you can go to lisa.com forward slash filmhouse. That's F-I-L-M-H-A-U-S and enter promo code. Get this filmhouse F-I-L-M-H-A-U-S. That's it. Thank you, Lisa, for sponsoring this podcast. Go check them out. They support us. So we support them. Yeah. It's a win win situation back to the movie podcast show let's make it happen let's talk about the worst film of 2017 thoughts the worst film of 2017 i saw a lot of trailers i did not see a lot of bad movies mm -hmm. um there was a 9-11 movie with what? charlie sheen oh, i missed that oh yeah there was i don't remember the name of it <laughs> and Whoopi goldberg yeah and i think uh louis guzman but i'm not sure on that third one hmm. um I will, I will sometimes go out of my way to watch bad films. Um, and I think the one I, the only one I can remember seeing that I enjoyed, but was bad was Geostorm. <laughs> that is uh, a fun film. We did an entire episode on it. So if you want to hear more about that, uh, you can check it out. I'm sure there's a related link somewhere in there. Um, but man, Geostorm, what a, what a perfect storm of geo. I mean, obviously <laughs> it was bad. You knew yeah. it would be bad. I, I just, What's Gerard Butler thinking? He every movie he in he just mean Gods of Egypt. Of course, he doesn't care. Oh, Gods of Egypt was so good. He no. was in P.S. Oh. I Love You though, which was phenomenal. I just what happened? What happened to the three hundred Gerard Butler, the gamer Gerard Butler? I mean, you really hadn't seen Gerard Butler until three hundred. So to be fair, that's true. He he beyond that will do anything. 
I just, you did. I love that he can be cast in so many movies, like Geostorm. We're like, you, Gerard, are a, an American scientist. Like, you got it. <laughs> you're like, okay. <laughs> like, uh, in this one, you're uh, an Egyptian god. You got it. <laughs> I'll play that role. He doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't give a shit. It's great. What other movies? What, what? Um, I also, I mean, it was divided. Yeah. Uh, oh, Justice League was garbage. Was it garbage? It wasn't very good. Sorry, go ahead. I had fun with that one though. Like I, 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 I went too. in understanding, yeah, like, okay, this isn't gonna be a very good movie, and they didn't take it seriously, and I, I don't know, I kind of liked it. Hmm. Um, but Bright, I know oh, some yeah. people loved Bright, but like I, I don't know, I watched it, and who loved Bright? Someone. <laughs> the internet? I don't know. No, what? Yeah, what? it was really weird. Like Netflix knows its audience, and I don't, I don't begrudge them for that because if it means they can keep getting shows like Toast of London and Black Mirror made, and I, I don't know if they're going to make more Toast of London, and I know that's a BBC show, but either way, I'm just saying if they can get things and start producing stuff like Black Mirror, then yes, yeah, put on more bright, mm-hmm. and that keeps the the most users happy. Just stop shoving it in my face. Uh, I don't, I don't want to watch it. I think I talked about this at some lunch but like there were th- it felt like they used a script because I've read that like a lot of times like a first script that gets sold has a lot of like filler stuff that like they think okay we're going to change this line from when we actually shoot it mm-hmm. and it felt like none of that that they just took the rough draft that was like all outline stuff like the daughter was like daddy I don't want you to get shot again and the wife was like I don't want you to get shot again and then Will Smith was like, I don't want to get shot again. And then he gets shot again. And and like he goes and he goes, I've been shot. <laughs> and, and then they're like, all right, let's go to the next scene. And they and they walk out and like it's never addressed again. No. Um, and every like almost every scene would just end. And then the next one would start and like they'd be like, we got to get out of here. So these bad guys don't find us. And they'd get to a new spot. And they have like the bad guys found us like. <laughs> There's n- there was no s- continuity between the scenes or anything. It was just like like it looked good and it seemed like a cool world, but in terms of actually constructing a film, it it was not very well made. I think I'm uh, bright. I've heard is not very good. So the worst film though, you think so? It was so bad and yeah. so racist. We I'm I'm glad I got to this part because we're skipping the trailers. Oh, Death Note was garbage. Oh, yes, I like Death Note. I, I know you did. You haven't watched fine. the anime yet, so I know. See, like I, I again, I objectively compare things the way that they should be compared, which is to uh, a larger body of work. No, I know. Just the anime. I'm just saying, I would I would like you now, having seen the film, to go see watch. To go, it. yeah, I, I mean, will. I get it. Look, if you go through your whole life eating shit, then you're like. Look, shit's not so bad, guys. But, but then not, you don't have anything to compare I'm it to. I'm not eating shit. I know, I know. I'm saying I'm not saying it's one to one. I'm just saying. I'm not eating shit every day. You, you ate a. B- <laughs> it's not, I'm not Lawrence. <laughs> That's all Lawrence does is watch bad movies. I know. Uh, but I'm just saying there is there is a better version of this yeah, that no, exists I believe, out there. I believe you. Uh, beginning to end, great stuff. I believe you. Good I will thing. absolutely watch it at uh, some point. I guess with uh, bringing up Death Note, the American-made feature film. Uh, we can talk about was it a good year for cinema? I had heard that it, I, I keep reading articles that it is because there's a lot of good movies that came out. Okay. Um, I guess I would agree. I mean, like, Get Out's a great film. Dunkirk's a great film. Three Billboards, very, very good. I mean, like, there are lots of good, good, actually good movies that felt like they were kind of art house mm-hmm. slash original IP in 2017. I think also you have the nice uh, blending of the two with things like Blade Runner 2049, but yeah. That's, uh, I think a lot of that can be attributed to the director who's just becoming a master of that. Oh, yeah. Blade Runner is an amazing film. Mm-hmm. Very, very long. Yeah, yeah. Um, I believe this is also a year that we got both Atomic Blonde and John Wick 2. Oh, yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, oh. Right. Am I right in saying that? Right. Or was John Wick 2 last <coughs> year? I thought I, thought I saw I John like Wick 2 year. 2017, right? Yeah. yeah. Either way, those are uh, two great action films. Um, really fucking good. So... Yeah. If you like action movies with a, a story that doesn't completely this. blow, I never it saw the Foreigner. Good. No, no yeah. Foreigner. It was more of a Pierce Brosnan film than it was a Jackie Chan film. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Um, well, I guess we're getting close to the end here. Then we can talk about what are we most excited for in 2018? Avengers. That's yeah. what, oh, is that coming I'm, out this year? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, it is. That, that's what I'm the most excited for. 
Uh, I'm most wait. I'm most excited for what's the dog movie? No. Uh, that's out. Alpha yeah, no, I know, but I haven't seen it yet. It's Alpha? Uh, a friend from heaven or something, or best friend. Best from friend from heaven. <laughs> I'm gonna watch that trailer right now. No, not that movie. What are you actually excited for, Adam? Best friend from heaven. Stop it. What are you excited for, John? <laughs> um, shit. What is it called? I I actually in in called researching from this episode. <laughs> Um, I found a lot of movies that are coming out, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like it seems like there's a lot of good I have movies to get coming back out. There. They need um, I'm back. I can talk now. <laughs> <laughs> didn't get married. What are you doing? The dog is just saying exposition the entire time. Me. As of right now, you and me, we're in this together. It's <laughs> great. You can help me throw to the wedding. <laughs> that locked off shot <laughs> of that dog. Always makes me laugh. Oh, uh, anyway, I uh, keep talking. Sorry. Um, so there's a movie with the girl from Split and Anton Yelnich. Yelchin. Mm. Oh, are you thinking of? Uh, I know what you're talking about. It's the something. Yeah. It's and it's um. It's about two girls. One. I've seen the trailer a hundred times. One feels everything and one feels nothing. Yeah. And they're gonna oh. kill a guy. That's oh. I forget the name of it. Uh, <clears throat> I I. I don't have high hopes, but okay. in terms of like the trailers I saw, I was like, that actually looks like it could be really fun. Um, just Google girl from split. I it cannot was... remember the name of it though. I know exactly <laughs> oh. what you're talking. I've seen the trailer. I guess split was good. <laughs> Sorry. Split was amazing. Yeah. Uh, Slender man got pushed four months, but it's still coming out. So don't worry about it. Sorry. Girl from split. Oh, Sherlock gnomes. Stop. It. That's coming out in 2018. Adam, what the, uh... Oh, what movie are you? So excited? legitimately excited for. Um, so Mortal Engines has my attention. What's that? Uh, oh, what's Mortal Engines? That's the, that's the. It's a book series, I believe. Um, Sorry. This is a what Peter is Jackson. It's it looks awesome. It looks like Howl's Look Moving Castle. Yeah, it's like a Howl's Moving Castle war movie. Whoa. Yeah, yeah this thing looks rad. I've never even heard of this, Adam. Mm. Yeah, it's a, it's based on like a. That's a, London. Yeah, all of London like it lives on a floating fortress or awesome. uh, a driving fortress. Huh. Pretty damn cool. Uh, so here, here's my thing too. I, I hate buying into hype um, as much as anyone else, but there are, there are definitely movies that are like piquing my interest. Like I want to see Alita Battle Angel. Oh yeah, of course. Because God, it looks weird. Yeah. Um, I, I'm as as far as like good movies going. Isle of Dogs will probably be a That'll great. Be it's a Wes Anderson uh, animated, yeah. or sorry, stop motion animated movie. So if you've seen uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox, which is such a good movie, yeah. Yeah. there's a Shane Black, Shane Black's The Predator. Predator, Predator that look, I'll go see that. It's weird. I love Kiss Kiss. I Tangier. loved Predators. It's children and stuff. It's weird. Um, no, I loved Predators. Okay. That was great. Pacific, um, there's Pacific Rim. I don't know if anybody's excited about that. Not really. Uh, what about Han Solo? Were you excited about the Solo movie? No. Uh, Nobody's more, excited about more, that, right? Well, kind of more in a, a sort of like, are they going to be able to pull it off? Uh, sort of thing i'm not really excited for but i do want to go see it is ready player one there you go. Because i will go see that absolutely. i despise the book i hate i hated but what you it, read the whole thing absolutely i even listened to the will wheaton audio version there you go. <laughs> my god he, he can hear how happy he is when he talks about how will wheaton <laughs> is the mayor of the oasis and he's like and of course he won Four years running. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. You're reading the book. You need to be on bias. What about the Incredi Will? Incredibles 2? Yeah, interesting. I, I'm, I, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. What about? You want to know why I'm not excited for Incredibles? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, it's Brad Bird. and He's been kind of on the downswing. That's what I mean. It's scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Has I, he? Yes. Well, Did what? you ever see Tomorrowland? It wasn't no. very good. Yeah. Nobody well, that's, saw it. He's, it he good. started out as an animated director. I know, I know. Well, well in, the first Incredibles is, is is a almost perfect film. It's and great. Iron it's great Giant. Movie. And Ratatouille. That's actually, yeah, the, the first know, Incredibles is it's almost a perfect film. It is film. fantastic. I've heard multiple people say that. No, it's also a perfect superhero film. Yeah. It's, it's what, like, it's weird. Incredibles and uh, Unbreakable are two superhero movies that came out way before superhero movies. Oh, they're so good. And are, they feel like superhero movies that should be coming out today. Yeah, they're so good. Where now it's like, man, I'm tired of superhero movies. They were ahead of their time. You're right. So ahead of the time. Um, what about yeah. a sequel to the wor world's second largest box office movie of all time? The sequel to this movie. Ant-Man? Jurassic World Fallen oh. Kingdom. Oh. No. Anybody? Anybody? I'm not really excited. No. no. No I, I was so surprised at how successful that film was. Because I, I went and saw it and I came out and I was like, what? What was that? It had really good marketing, but also it was uh, it was Jurassic. It was just a movie with dinosaurs. Of course, people loved it. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I don't. 
Um, but yeah, besides that, I'm just like, there's nothing really piquing my interest. I do want to announce uh, next week we are getting the Fifty Shades season, oh, man. which means I gotta watch those movies. Well, so that's the thing. We're gonna be every week. We are gonna be reviewing a Fifty Shades film leading up to Fifty Shades Freed coming out. <laughs> Uh, what is it? Valentine's Day? That's their thing oh, that they do. Okay, that's how they market it because they're like, "Ooh, she's a bad girl. She likes anal beads." Like, fucking cares. <laughs> Adam's like, I have anal beads in right now. Yeah, I have two. <laughs> one in the front, one in the back. Figure it out. Uh, either way. So yeah, uh, that I guess that's sort of our our episode. Shut up. Come on, Avengers, man. Avengers. Eh. What? It's a glove. He's how got are a you glove. not excited about Avengers? I don't know. I, I play might... that fucking trailer. That trailer's awesome. I guess. Man, if half the Avengers awesome. don't die, I'm going to be disappointed. I think I, I have heard that the first five minutes there's going to be an Avenger that dies. <gasps> That's what I've heard. I've heard the first within the first five. This trailer, not is Black Widow, awesome. Uh, right, but it's a trailer. There's, there's what a. Do you mean it's a t- but th- this is what they do. This is what Marvel does. There's a great. What's his face? Looks like a cartoon character. Thanos. Yeah, he looks like Coach from Left 4 Dead 2. Hey, it does look like Coach. There, let me show you. Wait let me show you. Hold on, hold on. That's all right. Thanos. Coach. Uh, left forward. Are you, are you guys excited for Sicario 2 where they took out all the things that were good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think both Adam and I are not excited for Sicario 2. Um, I like the first one a lot. Yeah, yeah really, but really. the trailer makes it look like all the good stuff nah. is has been removed. And it's just like a crazy action movie now. Yeah, I, I thought Sicario was a, a fun film. Uh, I was also thinking about Sicario the other day and how like I was like, that's one of the only movies I can think of where you follow a protagonist for the entire movie and then towards the end it just switches characters. Yeah, you're and right. you're like, I like that. That is a genius movie. Sorry, spoiler, kind of, not really. No, not really. I don't know. Go, we just watch Sicario. It's a you great guys movie. remember how how good the first Avengers was? You remember? Yes. Yes. Okay, hold on. Do you remember how good Civil War was? Well, hold on. You skipped Age of Ultron. What? That was an Avengers film. Are you serious? Civil War was not an Avengers film, my friend. You like Civil War? It's one of my lowest rated Marvel films. You're out of your mind. You're so slow. Slow? What the hell movie were you watching? (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of Gettysburg. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm... Every time more of these... Oh, so Thor was cool, but I feel like I keep getting burned out on the... uh, on the superhero stuff, Deadpool, I, I'm interested in, oh, yeah, but Deadpool, yeah. I'm I'm realizing it's more of the same, and I'm just like getting a little burnt out. Well, I think um, this is. I'll the go first, see it. I'll obviously go opening day as we do. This is the first movie I think that they're actually going to be in danger and that people will die. I'm. Maybe. That's. I'll be yeah, very surprised if they do not kill Avengers. In this I like movie. that contracts or plot armor, which yeah, is really great. Yeah, I know, they're you're like, right. you're absolutely right. They're like, will Doctor Strange die? No, no, he has another movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because when they announced it 25 years ago, and they're like, no. yeah, Robert Downey Jr. is going to be in 52 movies. They're like, well, why would they kill him then? That sort of is a spoiler. I don't know, they're going to they're gonna kill some Avengers in this film. And if they don't, I'll be very surprised. I don't know. I, maybe. I, but they're not going to kill anyone. Here's the thing. They're not going to kill anyone who's got a film franchise. Like, oh, no. They killed Falcon. Well, yeah. I mean. Uh, oh, no. They killed. Vision. They could kill Vision. Vision. Exactly. Who do- So, okay. Here's the fun thing. They're like, the Black Widow movie is coming out in 2020. So we can already assume she's not going to die. That kind of ruins the movie. We don't for you. know that the movie could be in the past. You have no idea. And Potentially, yes, uh, isn't I mean, comic spoilers. <laughs> isn't how Infinity War ends uh, yeah, is that I they know. they time travel parallel universe like everyone dies and the universe gets destroyed and then they're like oh let's just create a new universe. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, I there are some uh, movies worth mentioning. I know actually people will probably get upset. Like, what about Wonder Woman? What about Logan? Which oh right, yes. which I think people are fucking insane when they're like these movies need to be nominated for Academy no, Awards. No. Like, do you know what the Academy Awards are like? I think they're good movies. I think they're fine. <laughs> they are. No, Wonder Woman's great. Um, and I know a lot of people are like Wonder Woman's directed by a woman. Give them that. It's like, well, I don't hold on. Like, the, let's let's judge the movie on if it's a good movie, movie or not. Right, yeah. I don't want you to follow something blindly because it's like. Look at their look. This person is a Christian, so let's let's give it to a Christian, right? Yeah. It's like, whoa, hold on. Like yeah. you're just you got judge the the work by its work, not right. by their race, creed, or gender. That's yeah. a whole weird thing that I'm not crazy into. Yeah. So no, absolutely, you're so, totally right. Yes. Yeah, so Wonder Woman, I thought it was an okay movie, not bad. I, I liked it. Liked, I liked all the non-action parts. I the thought parts were good. I thought it was cool how DC made. Um, a Marvel movie. Oh, like finally they did it. They did. Good job, you. It was. Uh, <laughs> it was no. It was good. It was a good film. I saw it twice. It was a good film. Okay. Yeah. And then same with Logan. I'm like, uh, had some dark themes, and I thought it kind of fell apart at the end. But that's okay. That's fine. No, Logan was a good movie. It, yeah. It was like I had no. I didn't have any like, major problems with it. But I, I just. I'm like, this isn't like. I, this isn't the Dark Knight 
level no good no 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 like I'm I'm sorry like Dark Knight I thought transcended the superhero genre and it was like okay now it's just a film but that happens to have a superhero in it yeah. that's a that's a totally different thing I don't I think it's gonna be a long time before maybe not a long time uh, I think it's gonna be a while before any movie actually does that again so that it's just kind of a weird thing and also this this has been bothering me for a while I don't know if I even mentioned this but they point out in the movie Wolverine you mm-hmm. know the one happened before Logan yeah there's a part where the girl who's like uh, she can see in the future she's like I read your mind. I saw your I saw your future and you were lying there holding your heart in your own hand dying. And at the end of Logan, spoiler, spoiler, big Logan spoiler, he dies at the end. And he's laying on the floor dying. And the director someone like tweeted the director like, "Did you plan this?" He's like, "Guilty." No, you didn't. Because in Wolverine, there's a part where he's laying on a bed dying, holding his own heart. That was for that film. It's cool if you went Hey, you know what? That we can do a similar thing like that. Most people die on their backs. That's just the thing. And he wasn't holding his own heart. So I'm just quit your bullshit. You know? You didn't plan it. Maybe you did, but you, I think you just ended up working out in your favor. So stop. But he was holding his daughter. Clon- or his clone. Technically, okay. So I guess you could say his daughter was his heart. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what I thought that you were talking about. No. Guess not. I mean,. If I had a little clone of me, I wouldn't call it my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Great. Anyway, that that's a thing. Avengers, so. boys. Mark my words. It's going to be great. All right. It's by great, great, you mean it's going to make a lot of money, or is it going to no, be? No, no, no. By great, I mean it's going to be a great film that we're all going to enjoy. I hope so. Everyone will love. You I... think it'll be better than Best Friend from Heaven? No. Nothing is better than Best He's Friend. back, and he can talk now. I'm back, and I can talk now. Anyway, thank you, everyone, for listening, watching, all that fun stuff. Spread the news. Tell a friend. Why not? The news is Film House is back. <laughs> Well, it's always been here forever. We've been Shit. doing it for weeks. And we're not going anywhere. So uh, thank you to my guests for being on. Of course. You're not really guests. You work here. True. That's a thing. We had to do it. And uh, thank you, Lisa Matches, for sponsoring this. Um, I look forward to all your angry tweets about why I'm wrong about Logan. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I'm not that invested. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm hyping it up for comedy's sake. End show. <laughs> well, I feel like he could have done a skateboard and like, you know, jumped up, jumped over the moon or something. Something you like know. that. I, I don't think that. Modernize it. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, they now recognize that he is uh, the best. Mm-hmm. We got to do our uh, 3D scene here in a sec. Oh, there yeah. it comes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll put on those glasses, kids. <laughs>